What's going on guys? Today we're going to show you how to balance your pistons and rods. Uh, if you're putting an engine together, it's always good to have that rotating assembly balanced. And I can't do everything here at my home uh, as I don't have the tools required for balancing the crank. Um, but I can show you guys how to balance the pistons and rods and that is something that uh, isn't too hard to do. So we're going to go over that, kind of, that process and uh, this is what we have. So I've got um, an older set of pistons and rods out of my uh, previous B16 build. The engine for the Civic, which is sitting over here, I've already done this process on, uh, but I didn't film it. So I wanted to show you guys how that uh, works. What you're going to need, obviously, uh, aside from your pistons and rods, is a, a small scale. This one I just got at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're fairly cheap. They're probably, I think they're like 10 or 15 bucks maybe. So the process is we're just going to weigh each of these individually. So this one is 559 grams. And I usually use a piece of cardboard so that I can keep track of everything as far as uh, starting weight uh, and ending weight for each of the items. So that is 559.0. And as I go through, I'm sure you guys will probably see some disparity between them. And it's usually not going to be a whole bunch, so that's 558.6. Now the thing with the scale, you don't necessarily need one that's going to be accurate it doesn't really matter what they weigh as long as the scale is repeatable. So as long as you have the same results. So that's 557.9. And the reason that repeatability is important is as you take weight off of these so that they all match you want to get that same number each time you weigh an item. So 558.6 on that one. All right, so as you can see here, the heaviest one is this one with 559, and the lightest will be this one at 557.9. So not a not a big difference, but if you combine that along with the difference um, in the pistons, you could actually have a decent amount of difference, you know, between if you had, say, the heaviest rod attached to the heaviest piston, and then on an opposing, you would have the lightest piston and lightest rod. So um, this process is fairly simple. Next, we're going to take the pistons and weigh those. Pistons, in my experience, are usually closer to each other than the rods are. 299.2. So 299.7 on this one. This one is a little bit lighter, 298.7. And the last one here, 299.7. So we've got the weights for everything, uh, both pistons and rods, and you can align these however you like. This is just when I disassembled the engine, this is the cylinders they were in. So we've got, what we'll do is we'll take the lightest rod, nothing will come off of this one, and we will start with the heaviest rod 
and get the weight of this heavier rod to match the lighter rod. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take material off of this surface right here uh, equally around the rod. So this surface, this surface, all the way around on all four. What I use for that is uh, just an angle grinder with a 3M pad. Uh, I found that it doesn't take a horribly long time, but you're not going to take off too much material either. When we get to the pistons, what I use is a Dremel tool with a sanding drum on it. And I'll show you guys that when we get to there. I'll put this part on time lapse. I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, I'm going I'm to do a couple so you can see the procedure. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've got the number one rod here is now at 557.9, so it matches the lightest rod, which on this build ended up being the number three rod. So we'll show you that. So we take this, put it on the scale, and we've got 557.9 for number one rod, which was the heaviest. And then we'll take the number three rod, which was the lightest. And 557.9 and this is where that repeatability comes in that you're going to want um, with the scale and I've had pretty good luck with this little guy here um, like I said I got that at uh, Harbor Freight I think it was 10 bucks maybe um, if I was going to be building an engine I would continue on and get all these to match exactly um, for today, since this isn't going in an engine, uh, because these pistons need to be replaced, uh, I will do that at another time. But I'll show you the procedure on the pistons as well. So we've already weighed these, um, and we've got our weights here. So the heaviest one is tied between cylinders 2 and 4 at 299.7. And the lightest cylinder was this 298.7 here. I think that's because this particular piston is damaged. Uh, which you can see right here, there's a crack. And that may not be the best uh, one to use as the, uh, the lightest piston, but I'm going to still show you the procedure. So I will get these two to match. So this is 299.2 and 299.7. We're going to take basically a half a gram off the heavier piston so that it matches the lighter piston. And where you're going to do that on a piston, and this will kind of vary depending on uh, the specific brand you have, uh, but you can take some off in this area here and then on the inside and this can be kind of tedious, but you will take the Dremel with the sanding drum and you're going to go along the inside to take material off. And this, this process can take some time, like I said, um, depending on how much weight you're trying to take out. Aluminum doesn't weigh very much, so when you're using, you know, when you're sanding it, you're just getting off tiny, tiny amounts. Um, but I'll do one of these and you guys can see that process.
Got the balancing all done on the piston here so you can see on the inside where I've gone through with the sanding drum and just taken a tiny little bit of material off kind of all over. Depending on how much you need to take off you may need to get a little more creative. This is our one that we just did. So you can see that one is at 299.2 now. And then this is the one we were trying to match it to. So 299.2. So we took off about a half a gram from this one so that it matches this one. And if you guys were building an engine, you'd want to just continue that on, get all four to match exactly. And depending on the accuracy of your scale, you could go, you know, even further down. Uh, but in my experience, this is adequate um, for decent horsepower levels and fairly high RPM as well. As you can see, we've got so the difference of 1.1 grams here from the heaviest to now matching the lightest. And on the piston side, we had the heaviest was tied here at this 299.7. So if we had taken, you know, half a gram on the heaviest piston and 1.1 here, you're at, you know, 1.1 six grams basically um, between heaviest and lightest components. That stuff all adds up when you're trying to spin 10,000 plus RPM. And you guys can take this a bit further once you've got this part done. You can take this to uh, a machine shop or an engine builder in your area if you want the entire rotating assembly balanced. And from there they will take uh, all of those components along with your crankshaft, your balancer, your clutch, your flywheel, the entire rotating assembly, and they can balance all of that stuff. Now the start to that is what we've done here today. That'll get you a good start of getting your engine balanced decently um, and something you can do in your home with not too many special tools or anything. And that's basically all I've got for today. So. Just wanted to say thanks again for watching guys. Uh, I am nearly done with the Civic engine. It's right here. Uh, I've got to wait for the guys at PFI had some special training on some new equipment that they got uh, before I can get the uh, cams done on that. Um, got to get the cams degreed before we can get this engine buttoned up and get it in the car but this uh, this was something I was wanting to do uh, to share with you guys some this is something I do on all of my engine builds make sure you guys get subscribed if you're not already hit that bell so when I get new videos out you guys will get them and leave comments below what you guys want to see in the future and I will check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one